Okay, so suppose we are suspecting a patient of meningitis and we want to do a CSF and we did a CSF from the lumbar side, from L4, L5 region. And over a period of five to seven days, this patient developed hydrocephalus and now we put in an external ventricular drainage uh, to drain the same. And we collected the CSF from the ventricular side. Now the question is, can we compare the lumbar puncture CSF report with that of ventricular puncture CSF report to compare whether our infection is increasing or decreasing? So the answer is no. Thanks to Dr. Sushant, who is a neurologist with whom we had a discussion. So you need to remember that the ventricular CSF and the lumbar CSF has certain differences, basically three, which you need to be aware of. Firstly, the protein content. The, uh, as you know that the CSF is made in the ventriculars and the choroid fluxes, and then it, it traverses all the ventricles and then to the spinal cord, drains to the spinal cord. And so on the pathway, it collects the protein, it accumulates the protein from the plasma, blood plasma, and also from the nerve tissue. So the protein content is higher in the lumbar CSF as compared to the ventricular CSF, first thing. Second, the cell count. In the ventricular system, the normal cell count threshold is 0 to 1 cell, while in the lumbar is 0 to 5. And this can be very large difference in cases of meningitis. Suppose we had a meningitis at the base of the skull or something like that. Those cells are very high in the lumbar CSF as compared to the ventricular CSF. So this need to be aware of. Third is the sugar content. The sugar content of the ventricular CSF is almost equal to or almost more or less same as that of the blood plasma. While when it traverses to the whole spinal cord, the sugar content, we say that it should be more than, uh, the ratio is 0 0.6. It, suppose it's 100 in the blood plasma, so in lumbar CSF, it should be more than 60, like that. The ratio is like that. So the sugar is high at the ventricular uh, CSF and it falls down in the lumbar CSF. So these are the three differences which you need to be aware of between the ventricular CSF and the lumbar puncture CSF, protein content, cell count and the glucose concentrations. So that's why both the CSF have different uh, normal report, which need, you need to be aware of and you take care while comparing this. So thank you uh, for listening this and do read more about it. Thank you.